Hey guys, welcome to Tyrone Hill. Lisa here. All right, um, welcome to the place where we Tyrone Hill, our way to self love and unity consciousness. All right, now this is um, a flash message on mimicry. The reason being is because I did the Capricorn reading about it, um, and the, the Sag reading kind of touched on it, and this whole energy that we're in right now, it does have like an identity crisis as energy as a collective. So I feel like we should talk about mimicry, mimicry a little bit more because of it. Now, I did record this a couple of times, but I feel like I got all the anger out the way. So now I can speak about it in a way where it's educational and fun and light and I'm not cursing people out subconsciously. So here we are. <laughs> I think I'm going to add a Patreon so I can add all like the bloopers because I do have like, I re-record videos a lot, sidebar, I re-record re videos a lot um, because I want to make sure that I'm on the right energy where it can be palatable and my my energy isn't distracting from the message. But I think I'm going to have ex exclusive content on Patreon where it's just raw and uncut. Um, let me know what you guys think about that. Okay, we're a minute and 15 in. Let me get started. Mimicry. Now, I'm sure there's a metaphysical and, you know, deeply spiritual element to it, but I just want to bring it down to earth so people can know what that looks like, what it means. If you're a mimic and you're not realizing it and you're not realizing the consequences of it, um, and then if you're being mimicked and you're not realizing what's happening, I just want to lay that out as far as I understand it, my truth. Truth is always subject to change. Okay, with that being said, mimicry. A mimic is usually someone who admires you and who emulates you. They study your moves, okay? This can be someone who's like a, a yeah, it could be anyone, to be honest. It could be someone that you're with, okay? Obviously, it could be a friend of me. Obviously, it could be family, whatever. It's someone who's just watching you. They're studying your moves. They're like, I like that. I want that instead of being inspired by someone's shine and trying to be authentic and find their own shine. They're like, I want that shine, <laughs> you know? So they try to, it's like trying to take someone's pieces of someone's personality and, and trying it on for size. <laughs> what happens if I do this? Am I going to shine like this too? You know? Now, this can translate in a real life sense as far as like, let's say if you start doing something, then they want to start doing it too. Um, let's say you change your hair, then they want to change your hair. They want to do the same hairstyle. Um, you know, that very superficial things, right? If you want to do this major, then they want to do the major too. You know, whatever the case is, right? Dumb shit. Um, it's very superficial, like copying, right? If, if somebody... It could be temperaments. It can be how you say things. It can be your stance. It can be the way you dress. Okay, got that. Clear. Okay, good. Now, the reason why people do this, these are people who usually lack knowledge of self. They didn't take time to dig into themselves and figure out who they are. So they don't recognize their own dopeness in their own shine. They're seeing someone else's shine. Some of them might be threatened by it, and that's why they're trying to siphon it off. On a spiritual level, this some people can actually see, okay, they probably got some insight into who you are, what you what your path is, and they're trying to intercept, right? I'm not going to go into that. Either way, the undercurrent is of someone who isn't shining for themselves because they haven't gotten in touch with themselves. So let's keep it there. Keep it keep it in a place of compassion if we can. Says me who just cursed out this this camera twice already. But now it can be come from a place of compassion when I explain this. <laughs> Growth. Um yeah, so these are people who have not gotten in touch with themselves. They 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 see your shine and they want it. Now, to the mimics, what you're not understanding is you want the good that comes from whatever the perceived good is that comes from this person or that's coming to this person, 
right? That's why you're doing it. You want their shine and you want their power. Whatever you perceive to be power. Their shine is their power, right? Not realizing that you have your own superpower. Anyway, you're doing that and you're attracting. You're kind of wearing a bit of their frequency on you. When you're doing that, you think that you're just going to get the good, but you're going to get the good, bad, and the ugly, right? I use this example of like, let's say a church boy who wants to put his rosary beads aside because he admires a, a drug dealer, right? <laughs> and like, you know how I love these stories, these illustrations. Um, now, this person is admiring this drug dealer. Like, okay, this is how they move. These are the things that they say. This is how they, this is how they react when someone does this, you know. This person is studying mimics. They study the fuck out of you. And that's, that's the problem there because it's very conscious. It's very conscious studying. So they study the fuck out, uh, this drug dealer, right? And they're like, okay. And they try and wear it, wear their skin, you know, try to wear it for and put it, take it out for a spin. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Now, they get the benefits, which is like, you know, they, they get respect, they get this power, they get the cash, the fast cash that comes with the drug dealer life. But then they also get the dangers that come with it, the things that they're not built for because it's not their soul path. The things that they're not built for, this can be um, the type of energy that that frequency attracts. Like including soulmates. That's what the Capricorn reading was about. If somebody was to try and mimic tarot and heal, it can, and I could say this because I don't give a shit. Fucking try it, bitch. Um, see, I'm getting back into the angry thing again. Oh, should I start this over? Okay, fuck it. Let me continue. If they try to mimic tarot and heal, what will happen is they would, um, they could potentially, you know, siphon off people who are looking for me on a soul level. Okay. Because you'll see pieces of me being worn on the mimic, right? So, th so these people could look at this person and think, oh, that's what I've been looking for. Not realizing that they're a mimic and they're kind of a, they're a, a, an imposter, carbon copy. So that's, that's the effect of it. And it sounds all well and good to get like fans. It sounds all well and good to get someone's glory. It sounds well and good to get whatever it is that you think this person is going to get for being who they are. But it also comes with shit that you're simply not built for. And I don't say that in a way of, you know, shitting on people. I'm saying like every, we all have a soul path. I'm not built for what you're built for and vice versa. And that's it. All of our trials and tribulations, the highs and the lows, we already have, we're well equipped. This is a sidebar. We all need to know whatever it is that we're going through. <clears throat> we're well equipped to handle it. Every high and low, it's it's meant to activate a certain part of our soul. It's It's a formula. Okay, to activate a part of our soul so we can get on our soul's purpose. Okay, these are just reminders, these hiccups, these bumps in the road. But we're well equipped to handle it. Because we already agreed to deal with these certain types of uh, trials and tribulations. To activate us. Now, when someone tries to ride someone else's frequency and ride their path, they can start attracting shit that is not a part of their story. They don't belong there, you know? So that's where that can go left. <clears throat> we could see how that could go left, right? All right. Um, but yeah, so I think on a count of three, everybody should just be authentic. And that's why I'm really, really excited about this uh, Scorpio energy here. Because it's just sifting through all the fake shit. So you could just be real. Face, face it. You know, so if you find yourself studying someone a little bit too hard, like be mindful of your actions. If you're dating people, right? Every time you date someone, do you start picking up on their hobbies? 
you're mimicking. Be mindful of that. Do you pick up on how they dress? You're mimicking. Every time you meet someone new, do you try to fit in, start talking like them? You're mimicking. Be mindful of that, all right? Some people are used to doing it for so long, they don't realize that they're doing it. Or they got away with it, whatever the case is. But either way, it comes with the good and bad and the ugly. You got your own good, bad, and ugly and shine to deal with. You got your own angels and demons you got. Why are you ignoring that so you could go over here and deal with and be on somebody else's path? You're just getting in the fucking way. But anyway. <laughs> oh, you can imagine what the original <laughs> videos were looking like. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Anyway. Mimicry. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to me. Thank you so much for watching. And Thank you for watching my fucking TED talk.